Okay, so here we'll do a QR factorization with uh, Givens rotations. Okay, and then we'll do a simple example in two dimensions. Okay, to keep it simply. Uh, so my goal will be to eliminate this element here. So my first and only given rotation will be of the form negative sines, the cosine in the diagonal and the sine here. Okay, and so the cosine will be the top element, so 1 over the square root of that element squared and the element we want to eliminate squared, so be 1 over square root of 5. Okay, so the top element of the vector is this one and the element you need to eliminate is this one. And the sine will be the element we want to eliminate, so 2 over the square root of the element squared plus the top element squared, so 2 over square root of 5. Okay? And so if we are uh, given sortations, will be. The following, okay. So if we apply it to A, we get. Uh, let's maybe copy that. It will be that times. that okay and so if we multiply that out we would get square root of 5 0 as expected uh, 3 plus 8 11 over square root of 5 and negative 2 uh, over square root of 5. Okay, and so that would be our upper triangle matrix R. Okay. Um, um, yeah, and so Q would be equal to J1 transpose. So it would be uh, basically that here but you just switch the sign and the negative sign and so that would be Q okay because you transpose it and so the QR factorization would be uh, that times this upper triangle matrix okay uh, so that would be your QR factorization okay so this is a simple example to keep it simple because if you go in higher dimensions uh, it becomes really messy really quickly uh, but again if you were in uh, higher dimensions you, once you are finished with the first, uh, with the first co column vector, uh, you would only, uh, you would only consider this sub matrix, okay, and do the given rotation inside, uh, and then the sub sub matrix. And then the sub 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 matrix, and so on. And every time, once you got your uh, uh, your uh, given sortation in the sub matrix, 
uh, uh, to be able to multiply with your matrix A, you, you would add ones in the diagonal and zeros in the same row and columns as these ones, okay? Um, and you would put your given rotation of the submatrix inside. So you would again be able to multiply with your matrix A, okay? That's what you would do. Okay? So, yeah, so thanks for watching.